So that's the position. That's America. That's what's going on. Uh, let's move on from that to Trump. This Asking for a competency test for presidential candidates, which is pretty funny because he's also old, but he can't say Biden is just old. He has to say Biden is incompetent, which is true. Uh, and, and Trump, as we know, passed with flying colors the woman-man camera TV uh, uh, conversation. Basically put the rest, any of the uh, incompetence that naysayers and haters of Trump alike uh, could use against him. He was perfect. He's made perfect phone calls. He also perfectly passed the competency test. Joe Brandon cannot draw a clock. Mr. President, have you thought about a potential running mate be. if you were to win the nomination? I like not to think too much about that. Uh, you always do a little bit, but I, I really don't think it's time I want to win. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting about running mates. Uh, when you get down to a vice president, they said no, nobody's ever made that kind of a difference. It's still about the person that's going to be president. Are you it's leaning, an important decision. Are you leaning toward a woman? I like the concept, but... We're going to pick the best person. But lot, I do like the concept, yes. A lot of people noticed when Governor Nome endorsed you, there were Trump Nome signs. Do you have her, your eye on her? I do. I think she's fantastic. She's been a great governor. She gave me a very uh, full-throated endorsement, a beautiful endorsement, actually. And, uh, you know, it's been a very good state for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly she'd be one of the people I'd consider or for something else maybe. But we have a lot of people. We have a, a lot of great people in the Republican Party. A lot of your supporters are asking when I'm out on the trail, when are we going to see the first lady out on the trail? Oh, I see. She's right now with Barron in school. She loves that boy. And uh, she's very popular. She actually is. Oh, and she'll be with us. She's very, very supportive. We'll see her on the trail soon? Yes. Mm, soon. Yeah, pretty soon. When it's appropriate, but pretty soon. Uh, she's a private person, a great person, very confident person. And she loves our country very much. She'll be... Uh, she'll be at the appropriate time, she'll be out there. And honestly, I like to keep her away from it. It's so nasty mm. and so mean. And a lot of it's me. I say, just, I don't want you coming. It's such a nasty situation. But when we have rallies, the rallies are bigger than ever, better than ever. You saw in South Carolina, we had 82,000 people. Uh, the biggest rallies we've ever had. There's a spirit in the country now that likes, look, 2016 was incredible. 2020 was actually much better. We got many more votes, millions and millions more votes. But I've never seen spirit like I see right now. And I really believe part of that is... Cap. Cap. Do you think that they were forced to stop walking in this interview so he could catch his breath? He's looking kind of... He's looking kind of fit. Okay. I just got to I gotta point that out, okay? He's looking kind of fucking fit. He's looking thinner. He's out there. He's golfing. You know it, and you're hating on him. But I've never seen spirit like I see right now. Uh, the biggest rallies we've ever had. There's a spirit in the country now that likes, look, 2016 was incredible. 2020 was actually much better. We got many more votes, millions and millions more votes. But I've never seen spirit like I see right now. And I really believe part of that is maybe because they love what we're saying, but a big part of it is that our country is doing so badly. Our country is doing so badly with the borders, with the military, with the lack of respect all over the world. And I think that probably adds to what we're doing. Can I ask you a question? I don't think you've ever gotten this question, but it's been reported that you left a note for President Biden when you left office. It's true. It's true? Yeah. What, can you give us this little uh, sense of what you said? You know, it's interesting. He actually said it's up to me to do, and I actually think it's up to him to do. I left him a note. Uh, I think it was very, it was a nice note. I took a lot of time in thinking about it. Uh, I'd love him to do a great job, even if it was very bad politically. I would rather have him have wonderful borders, have no wars, have no Ukraine problems, which, you know, to a large extent was caused by him. Because of, if Fucking you looked at the him, rhetoric before ass. that war started, right. and the things that were said, uh, I would much rather be in a position where the country's doing great now 
We had him as a president, but the country's doing horribly. I don't think the country's ever been so disrespected. So many bad things are happening. When you look at the polls and you see that the majority of voters don't want to see President Biden run again, and frankly, they don't want to see you run again, Mr. President. See, that's where you're wrong. What do you what do you make of those polls? Well, I just looked at a poll in the Republican Party, 89 percent want me to run. And that's the highest number that they've ever had. That's higher than Ronald Reagan. Uh, the general poll, I mean, I think they love my policy. A lot of people say they love my policy, but they don't necessarily like me. I think they do like me. So in the Republican Party, I'm 89, 90, 92 percent. Uh, there's a big love fest going on. <laughs> and when you look at these people running, there are 2 percent, 1 percent, 5 percent. One's at 9 percent, the sanctimonious. But, but I'm at you know, beating by 60, 70 points, it's unprecedented. Nobody's ever seen a thing like that. Um, and the voters themselves, I think they're going to be very happy. Look, we have to turn our country around. And very, I said it before, we have to make America great again. What do you make of the... Why does Trump say that the war wouldn't happen under his rule? What do you mean? Why does Trump say anything? Because he loves saying shit. He says he would pull out of Afghanistan, but not in the way that Joe Biden did where everyone would be happy. He says there would be no war in Ukraine if he was still president. I mean, that's... It's because he says whatever the fuck he wants to say. <sighs> he said he would... Uh, he said he would tackle inflation and actually apply pressure to... He said he would tackle inflation and apply pressure to the uh, oil and gas industry in America to normalize prices. Or... Actually, I'm not even sure if he says that directly. I think he just says basically like that he would be able to he would be able to apply pressure to foreign leaders maybe in the OPEC, which he would not be able to, but It's great. The age issue. Should there be an age limit to running for president? No, but there should be a competency. Uh, I, I'm all for the test. You know, I took a test two years ago, three years ago. He's doing it. He's talking about the competency test. Dude, he's the GOAT. Yo, you about done? Tick tock, motherfucker. This is such a fucking boomer ass meme, dude. What the fuck? He, this is like a like a deep fried boomer meme, dude. That's awesome. Okay, uh, we'll we'll talk about Nikki uh, in the UAW in a second. And as the doctors said, and it was in front of doctors and a whole big deal at Walter Reed, which is an incredible place. And I aced it. I get everything right. Um, I'm all for testing. I I frankly think testing would be a good thing. A lot of people say it's not constitutional to do it, but I would be for. Uh, uh, testing to test to make sure everyone's just fine. But a lot of people say that can't happen because of Constitution. What do you say to people who say it is time for a new generation of leaders? Well, it's always time for a new generation. But, you know, some of the greatest world leaders have been in their 80s. I'm not anywhere very near 80, by the way. But uh, And Biden's not too old. I don't think Biden's too old. But I think he's incompetent. And that's a bigger problem. I don't think 80 is old. I know people that are... In, 89 i know a person 94 95 he has to say this which is such a funny thing to say this is very not trump okay trump is known as the guy who says the uh the things that nobody wants to hear right like he's the guy who you know the average american looks to and says yeah you know he tells it like it is you can't fucking tell me that like, ah, oh, you know, 80's the new 40. Like, you can't say that and then have those very same people go, you know, he's right about that. You can't. You're 77, you're 78 years old. You're going to be 78. Or no, you're 77. Fuck, I keep fucking this up. Why do I keep fucking his age up? who's a hundred percent Bernie Marcus take a look at Bernie Marcus Home Depot I mean he has been amazing for so many years he's 95 years old uh, it's it's really a level of competency not the age you will be in your 80s if you're reelected 
Does that concern you at all? Well, I will be toward the end. Mm -hmm. uh, no, because my father lived uh, much longer than that. My mother lived much longer than that. So genetically, that's a good thing. Anything else you want to say, Mr. <laughs> no, I just wish you a lot of luck. You're going to have great you. success. I, Thank you, Mr. I predict. President. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.